Hey there folks and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. So like last time I promised that I would show you a trebuchet and here it is. You can get it off the workshop. I had to heavily modify this to make it work. The trebuchet that you can get on the workshop doesn't have this little cup here. It has what you would call a rope end where you can attach the ball to but when you let the trebuchet go the ball just stays attached to the rope so I had to put the little catapult cup on there granted trebuchets don't have the catapult cup and they actually did work using the rope it's just we don't have any functionality to that yet in game and in addition to the trebuchet as you see in my hot bar I have barbarians we're gonna place one out here barbarians are the very very basic AI demonstration tool that Keen software has given us to tool around with there they are you can get six of them at a time and what they do is they attack king of statues or they attack wherever you tell them to attack so we can go to bots and tell them to attack here and they're going to probably try to attack where I just told them to so yeah all right we'll let them stay over there while we have fun yeah you got you guys can stay over there have fun well we have some fun with this little castle and little house over here and yes this trebuchet does not have much range it's more of a demonstration of the physics engine if we wanted to actually make something with good range to it we would probably be using the torsion spring blocks and make a proper catapult rather than a gravity assisted kind of catapult which is what this trebuchet is um okay we got some issues here so i'm going to kill these guys yes you can't kill them and they you know they they die in you know the standard way I'm sure more advanced AI will be to come. Okay, well that's enough dawdling. I will show you how this trebuchet works. So there's the rope attachment point here. You attach it to the rope reel, or whatever it's called. It's called the rope drum, not reel. And we have these catch blocks here, so when we rotate it, it doesn't automatically go back up. So we're going to rotate this. Okay, let's rotate this. And we don't want to make it go too far down, otherwise the... Oh god, we made it go too far down. That's alright. We will try to launch one of these. Sometimes if we make it go down all the way, it the, can, or the stone ball tends to fall out. But let's try to... Oh god, stop wiggling. It's alright, it's alright. There we go. Yes, that this is a known issue with this catapult design. Oh god, I'm going to uh, release this actually. And we're going to, yes, so that's how the catapult itself works. Except we act actually have to put a catapult ball in there. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make the arm a little bit longer. I'm going to see if that possibly will help with any of the issues that we're having. We'll make it, I don't know longer and just to reinforce it put uh, a couple blocks there and because we added weight to it we need to add weight to the counter weight so we'll add some weight to the counter weight Oop, don't need to add that much and this should make it go a little bit faster Granted, it's not going to be very effective, but it will still do the trick. And we'll show you the barbarians in action destroying stuff a little bit later once we... Oh god, what did I do? Okay, we're good. Once we have demonstrated the firepower of this terrible cat, uh, catapult slash trebuchet. Okay, and let's put a head back on here, a catapult cup. There we go, that's what I wanted. Now let's attach the string. From there to there. Okay. Now let's make this thing work. 
right? Ooh, that's a much longer catapult arm. Okay, and I broke it. Um. Uh oh. Things are occurring <laughs> that aren't good. Okay. <laughs> it's like a terrible ride at a carnival. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Yeah, so the game still has some bugs to work out. Well, I'll be back as soon as the catapult's fixed, alright? See you guys back in a bit. Alright, and we're back. We fixed the catapult. And let's crank this thing down. See if we can uh, get it to launch a ball this time. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down there. Sometimes if you jump on it or touch it, it will calm down almost immediately. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. It doesn't seem to be working. So I will launch it again and we'll give it one more shot. I won't bring it down all the way. I think that's the issue with this. So I can see the benefit of having a torsion spring rather than this gravity feed right away. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Actually, if you want me to make something or showcase something, just leave it in the comment section below, and I will do the best I can to uh, do what uh, at least most of you guys want. All right, there we go. Got it in the cup, and it's not flinging all over the place. So let's uh, showcase it. Yeah, there we go. And it hit our stone wall. Didn't do too much damage. In fact, I don't think it did any. <clears throat> Probably just bounced off the bottom there, but... Yeah, it's a proof of concept, and I know that this thing does actually fire a longer distance because before I put the roof on here, this is the damage that it caused with a larger boulder. Granted, it's if I put a larger one in there right now, I'm pretty sure it'll just fall flat. I don't know why, but eh, we'll give it a shot. We'll put a larger one in here, see what it does. Maybe it'll hit that house over there. Who knows? All right. Let's crank this thing. I think it's just cool that you can make stuff like this, even even if it doesn't necessarily work. All right. Let's see if I can get this in here. Oh yeah, he shoots, he scores. And <laughs> that was pitiful. All right. Well, that is that. Well, I'm going to show you the barbarians now. I put a barbarian here. He's probably gonna try to bash his way in. Or he's... Well, I guess the AI isn't advanced enough to realize that there's a doorway here and a staircase there, but it's proof of concept. They're here. And there we go. As you see, they like to destroy stuff. If I can put... I can probably put another one there. Yeah, there we go. Rah, go destroy those king statues. And I'm sure there's all sorts of fun things we can uh, make the AI do with these king statues. Make them run into all sorts of fun traps and whatnot. Sometimes I don't understand why they attack at certain things, but they do. And that's the barbarians right now. I'm sure they will have much more added usability later in the game. I mean, this game's only been out for, what, two weeks now, so... Yeah, a lot of progress has been made in a short period of time, so thank you folks for watching. If you have any suggestions on what to do in Medieval Engineers, let me know. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you folks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.